Hello, and welcome to NCS Extra Credit. I'm Jerry Bailey of NCS, and NCS Extra Credit is a series of short videos given by various members of our staff on a variety of topics within the credit world. Um, it's a way for us to try and get more education out to the credit profession. We do them on the topics we're familiar with, UCC filings and mechanics lien filings. Today, we've recruited Kristen Snyder. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Kristen. Uh, of our construction services area. Kristen is the manager of our construction services area, and she's here to help us with changes to state lien laws, particularly California. Uh, there's changes on the table going into effect soon in California. Um, basically, what are the changes and when are they going into effect? Thanks, Jerry. The new statute provides a requirement that the preliminary notice be served upon the construction lender if there is a lender. The statute also requires that if you contract directly with the owner that you do need to serve a preliminary notice. Uh -oh. The statute goes into effect July 1st, 2012. Got it. Um, how do you figure out who the lender is? Well, that's a great question. There are a few ideas. The first one would be to request a copy of the written contract between the owner, the general contractor, and any subcontractor. This written contract should provide you with lender information. The second thing that you can do is you can, can, you can obtain a copy of the construction trust deed. The third thing you can do is obtain a copy of the building permit. This building permit should provide you with the construction lender information. And if there is no construction lender, then the building permit should state that. Oh. So what if you can't get any of those documents? Well, if you cannot obtain those documents, the statute requires that the general contractor provide you with that information if you send out a formal request. Oh, got it. So, I mean, other than what the statute says, is there any advantage to serving uh, the notice on the lender? Sure, Jerry. If you proceed with sending the preliminary notice and you serve the lender, then our clients have the option of doing a stop notice. By serving a stop notice, you stop the flow of money between the construction lender and the owner. Oh, good. So additional protections. Absolutely. All right. Good stuff. Thanks, Kristen. Mm -hmm. So to summarize what Kristen has told us, uh, as far as your credit policies, from now on in the state of California, you might want to start to incorporate policies where you're capturing the lender information because that is going to be an important part of the lien laws in the state of California and protecting your rights. So thank you, everyone. We appreciate you sitting in this session. Uh, we would certainly appreciate any feedback you might have for us uh, for future topics uh, on sessions of NCS Extra Credit. You can contact us a variety of ways. You can reach us at the phone number or the email address at the bottom of this screen. You can certainly reach us through any of the social media outlets as well. But thanks again for joining in, and everyone enjoy your day.